Hello, uh, I'm gonna keep the intro brief. I did a campaign with Theodoro, I uh, had a pretty good time, and uh, some stuff that happened is not gonna be obvious because the map is zoomed out, and also this doesn't show stuff like subjects and personal unions. So I did the classic strat where you know CB uh, East Frisia and walk your troops through Moldova, Poland, Brandenburg, and I think Brunswick uh, to get over there. Uh, I waited for, uh, I believe it was Frisia, to declare war on East Frisia, uh, vassalized them, took one province, uh, courted it, annexed East Frisia, and from there was pretty standard uh, expansion into the HRE, taking one province here and there in order to, um, in order to uh, expand without aggressive expansion killing me. I also tried to spawn uh, Catholic rebels because I wanted to convert from Orthodox to Catholic to reduce the aggressive expansion I took by give or take 50%. Uh, unfortunately, you can't convert culture for this achievement, but if I could, I would have done it because that also made aggressive expansion much worse. Um, and yeah, from here I just sort of played tall, uh, expanded slowly, took whatever provinces I could get my hands on, but most importantly, I got into as many wars as I could with random countries in order to um, take uh, money, take prestige, uh, get that aggressive expansion reduction, get the improved relations, and just sort of make myself more powerful without taking more A. Uh, I think at this point I allied France and Commonwealth, and the War of Religion happened, and the War of Religion was actually huge, this playthrough. Um, it was Russia, Ottomans, England, Castile, Austria versus Commonwealth, France, and me. And we somehow won, which was amazing because it made the uh, Empire Protestant. And by making it Protestant, it made it a lot easier for me to expand into places like the Free Cities because the Emperor, uh, Stettin, was super weak. Um, and yeah, so I took the opportunity, I um, expanded some more. Uh, I believe around this time, um, the Commonwealth loses a ton of land to both Russia and the Ottomans. It should happen in a minute. And uh, around the time that this happened, the um, De Valois in France asked me to put an heir on my throne. And you know, I gladly accepted. That's an occasion to PU France, and they took some provinces I was going to need later, so why wouldn't I take it? That's an occasion for me to take land that I'm going to need anyways, without ha having to do multiple wars against France. I just need to do one big war, take the PU, integrate them, and they're going to be so helpful. But it turns out that the French put a development on the Commonwealth as well. And so I PU'd them, and as you can see, I reconquered some land from Russia, and soon after the Ottomans to, you know, help my subject out. And at this point, I believe France also had a disp disputed succession. So I claim their throne, I truce break, and I also get France in a PU. And you'd think that from here, like, the game's over, right? But it isn't, because the Ottomans are still really strong. Uh, Spain is still really strong. And Spain is allied to Austria. So I still had a few, not really difficult wars, but uh, time-consuming wars, where, like, sure, I could, um, I could win, and I did win, but it took time. And uh, while waiting for aggressive expansion to go down, because I can't face a coalition of all of Europe at this point, I uh, took over land in the Ottomans. Now, uh, you're gonna see that there's a bit of land I took from Russia there that stays purple. This is just a glitch on the replay. Uh, this land was actually uh, Commonwealth land. I gave it to them. Uh, I didn't keep it for myself in core at all. Uh, around this point, I dismantled the HRE. Uh, I forget the exact alliance chain that I did, but I was able to do a single war where through co the right countries, I was able to uh, get everyone involved in a war. And at this point, all bets are off, right? Uh, Austria is doing nationalism war against people nearby, and that's very good for me because that means I can do, you know, a few big wars against Austria instead of having to conquer all of those individually and uh, having to deal with that many country 
receiving aggressive expansion. I also released uh, Nitra, Transylvania, Hungary, Bulgaria, Wallachia, and Greece from the Ottomans as uh, subjects in order to integrate them and have more uh, provinces in France, because otherwise I couldn't integrate them, which I just did. And at this point, it's just clean up, you know, slowly taking over everything and reaching the uh, final stage. Um, I never tried to do commentary for something like this. This is kind of off the cuff, so let me know if it worked out. Uh, we can call this a sort of after action report. Uh, I had a pretty good time with this achievement. I'd say the East Regia strat is definitely the best way to go about it, uh, because staying near the Ottomans is just very difficult. And uh, yeah, this was a fun run. I just really enjoy playing in the HRE. Uh, thanks for watching.